What do you call it? It's called a Blackberry. Huh. Try typing with your thumbs. At first, I got asked with my producing partner, Matt Miller, to write a screenplay based on the book. And it wasn't something we were taking too seriously at the beginning because I, I didn't know much about Blackberry. But then after I read it, I thought, oh, there's a space here for us to do something, I think, very personal. And it was very early on that I, I started talking with Jay about it. I would say more or less the same week that I knew I wanted to direct the film. I talked to him because he was editing his second feature at the time. And so right from the beginning, it was Jay and I talking about it. He was the first person in and more or less the entire cast was was shaped around him. Well, that's pretty cool. Thank you. Um, so uh, um, we've been talking here and we, we um, we would like to make a counter offer. You keep crawling back, like bugs, like grubs. For me, the, the, the gig, my job is just jamming with him and with the other actors. And I trust implicitly uh, and explicitly that he's going to know if a thing is good or bad or right or wrong. So I just kind of deferred to him and followed him. And we started to talk about um, what my version of this fellow would be, right? So, so he, he took Mike and from, from the book and the newspapers and such and distilled it down to a page of the screenplay, which is already different from the real guy. And then, and then I found a way to make that guy on the pages of the screenplay make sense to me and, that, and made sense for him narratively. So we talked very early on about it's important I don't do an impression and also, all that mattered is emotion and truth. Mm -hmm. And so we just tried to be honest and make sure that uh, we weren't being posers and that any kind of um, difference in uh, in sort of accuracy is takes a, a, a back seat to, to truth in the moment. And so the movie, whatever it is, it's not full of shit. You know, no matter what, it's authentic. And that's like, and that's, that in itself is a feat. We, we also are afforded a perspective uh, with time and history. Yeah, we're, we're writing about them as though they're characters that are separated from reality. Like we're trying to include Jim and Mike in a mythic tradition of storytelling where in a hundred years, if you've never heard of a Blackberry or whatever, whatever the world is in a hundred years, I believe that the story that these men mm -hmm. go on will be applicable to your life yeah. then. I love this quote from Bjork when they asked her, so why do you make music? What's your job? And she said, my job as an artist is to connect the myths of my country with the future. Good and, Lord, that's, and, a, that's everything. And that's wow. it. And to his credit, he, he fosters a sort of environment where it feels like cops and robbers in the backyard where we all feel like we can contribute. He understands that like, um, the more people's fingerprints are on the movie and the more that everybody is creating with like the fullness of their imagination and curiosity, the better for him, I think.